when the Quran says Muhammad is illiterate, the Quran never said that Muhammad cannot read and write. Illiterate in the Quran mean someone do not know the book of God. And those are the Muslims. And you will find that all over the Quran. Chapter 2, verse number 78. Confirm, I mean, they, they don't even understand their book. And there are among them illiterate who do not know the book. So who is the illiterate? The one who does not know the book. By the way, in English, in Arabic, it doesn't say Jews. Chapter 3, verse number 20. Who is the illiterate? The one who do not know the book. Who is the one who is not illiterate? Is the Jews and the Christians. That's why in the Quran we are called people of the book. Muslims are not people of the book. Which means even the Quran did not confirm the Quran. Because if the Quran confirmed the Quran, then he should confirm the Muslims, call them people of the book too. In our book, We deny everything Muhammad said, even though our book written long before Muhammad. And their book, their book confirming our book, but in the same time contradict. And now you get an idea why those cowards don't dare to debate me. Because we take no prisoners. And by the way, take no prisoners is mentioned in the Quran. Even the Christians, they used to make fun of the Muslims according to the Quran and the Jews. Sorry, the Christian and the Jews make fun of the Muslims. They call them Ummiyin, illiterate, Gomai, pagans. The word Ummi here mean Go my. Those are pagan Muslims. They kiss a stone, they pray around the stone, and they bow down in front of a stone, and they claim they believe in monotheism. And then if you read a little bit, you will find that Muhammad never learned about monotheism, but he learned about it first time from the Jews. If you remember the story, where a little Jew, he schooled Muhammad and he got him busted. A Jewish man, as usual. Muhammad do not know what monotheism. If not this Jewish man, until now the Muslim doing the same. And I find it very funny that the Muslim are not ashamed even to write it. Read carefully. A Jewish man came to the Prophet and he said, you are setting reviles to Allah, to God, not Allah. Hmm? And associating with him, other with him. This is a serious accusation from a Jew to a Muhammad himself. Did Muhammad deny? No. In fact, he told the Muslim to do as this Jewish man, he said, for this is the right thing. He said to them, you say, whatever Allah wills, and you will. And you say, by the Kaaba, they swear by, by stones. They swear by rocks. They swear by houses, not by God. So the Prophet commanded them, if they wanted to swear on oath, to say, by the Lord of the Kaaba. Here you to ask yourself, where was Allah? to correct Muhammad. What kind of a prophet of God he is corrected by the enemy of Allah? According to the Quran, the Jews are the enemy of Allah. How a person, he supposedly came for the purpose of monotheism, being schooled and spanked, and the prophet, he took the Jewish command to become part of Islam. It's in the front of you.